and that is precisely where we will start. But you wouldn't know it. You can't see anything right now. We've got some fog that's starting to build in uh, many of our locations. Look at our visibility map right now. And it may not look like the worst out there, but certainly it could be hampering some spots. You know, you're driving along, especially when you get down to the South County along 95. You can't uh, think of how many times you just run into one of those big fog banks. Uh, two and a half uh, mile visibility up at the airport in uh, uh, up in Smithfield in the north central state there and we've got visibility of about a mile over towards places like Falmouth. It gets a little thicker as you get out to, uh, down towards the vineyard. I think we'll see it gets get a little bit worse across the board as we head towards tomorrow morning. So even not that bad right now, just something if you're going to sleep, you're waking up early. Uh, yeah, give yourself maybe a few extra minutes. Temperatures in the 60s out there right now. It definitely felt a lot less muggy behind the storms that came through this afternoon. The evening was pretty comfortable out there. Very light winds though as well. So you're not going to get a lot of airflow tonight. Hopefully, uh, you know, you don't need too much again with the cooler air that has come in here and again, slightly less humid, but the calm winds will be good to helping facilitate that fog building as we head into tomorrow morning. Very, very foggy potentially in spots that could be even some localized dense fog visibility under a quarter of a mile will be uh, Pretty much riding the 60 degree line. Once those clouds start to thin, the fog starts to lift. We'll see the sun come out and it will warm up accordingly. And it looks like a pretty nice afternoon out there. Uh, this is the trough the company low pressure right there. Moved right over southern New England, brought us all of that severe weather during the evening hours. We have weak high pressure set to build in, but then we have another storm system behind that right now from parts of Canada down into Minneapolis over towards Wisconsin. You can see there are severe thunderstorms right around that low pressure system tonight. This is the dividing line from a pretty big air mass change. You know, you think back to last week when it felt like fall for a good clip. Yeah, we could be uh, seeing a few more days like that later on this week once that frontal boundary passes through. So weak high pressure again tomorrow. Nice day out there. Could see maybe a quick shower Wednesday morning. I don't think Wednesday is a terrible day, but there could be another PM round of some strong thunderstorms. We'll have to watch that storm prediction center. And you can see that big high coming in up there. That's the uh, big catalyst for driving that cooler and comfier air. But we look at these storm prediction centers outlook for Wednesday. And again, this is mainly for the afternoon for us, but uh, you know, timing could change a little bit, gets it a little bit earlier into the morning hours. So we'll just call it Wednesday for right now. The threat is elevated right around the border, all of Connecticut and areas well west out towards the Ohio Valley. I mean, we're right on the doorstep right here, so it's conceivable that could get pushed a little bit further east. So certainly we have to watch for that on Wednesday. Outside of that, not terrible weather here coming up. Again, Thursday and Friday are going to be really, really nice once that big Canadian high moves in behind the front. And uh, really, Labor Day weekend isn't looking all that bad either. Show you in a sec on the seven days. 60 degrees tonight, patchy fog out there. Just give yourself extra time tomorrow morning. Watch for the thunderstorm threat Wednesday afternoon. It's a very warm day, well into the 80s. We do have a lot of humidity as well. That's going to be the summeriest day of the week here, if you will. We go right to fall on Thursday and Friday, and then the temps will start coming back up and building a little bit as we head into Labor Day weekend. Variably cloudy uh, Saturday, Sunday. I think we'll get some breaks of sun. Sunday to me looks a little bit brighter, but if you want the brightest day of the weekend, that would be Labor Day itself. Monday looking like a gem, sunny and 80 degrees.